Okay, this video is going to take you through the beginning parts of doing a simulation. A simulation is something where we use some kind of mathematical tool, and there are lots of different ones you can use, um, to simulate a situation and calculate an expected outcome to that situation. So it's much easier to explain in the context of a, a problem, something that you're trying to simulate. So we're going to use this one. Jordan likes magnums, the ice creams, and will buy one every hot day. 80% of the time he will decide it's hot enough for a magnum. There's currently a promotion where you can win a free magnum and it's printed on the lolly stick. You know, the kind where it tells you if you're a winner after you've eaten the ice cream or not. Um, and one in six of the sticks are winning sticks and they've got winners printed on them. Okay. We want to simulate um, this situation so that we can calculate the probability that Jordan buys a winning magnum on any given day. Okay, so the first thing to think about is what decisions are we having to make to create this simulation? So first of all we need to decide whether he buys a magnum based on whether it's, he thinks it's a hot day or not. And second of all is whether he gets a winning stick from that magnum. Now, it's a, he's got an 80% chance of thinking that the day is hot enough. So we can use any kind of mathematical tool that's going to enable us to get this 80% figure. So the easiest one for the things that we know about is to look at generating random numbers. You can use your graphics calculator to generate the random numbers 1 to 10 using that function ranint um, and then in inputting that you want it to go from 1 to 10. Now we want to have the numbers 1 to 8 representing the situation where Jordan chooses to buy a magnum, that it's hot enough that he gets a magnum. Um, 1 to 8 makes up 80% of the possible numbers, so it gives us the required probability that we're looking for. Now, of those magnums that he buys, 1 in 6 of them is a winning one. So, for this one, we're going to use rolling a six-sided dice. Now, we could do any kind of tool here. We could do the random numbers from one to six. We could do um, putting six different coloured cubes in a bag and picking them out one at a time and having them represent different things, that sort of stuff. Um, this one, I'm going to do rolling a six-sided dice. We need a one in six chance of winning, so we'll choose one number to represent a win, and in this situation, I'm going to choose a six. It doesn't actually matter, we could have chosen any of the numbers as long as we're picking one out of six. So this one, a six, will represent the winning stick. Now we've set up the beginnings of our simulation where we're defining the tools that we're using. In the next video, we will look at setting up what a trial looks like and how we will fulfill those trials to be able to complete the simulation.